Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Math. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to shell script, where we will learn how we can use alias in order to rename the actual command. If I explain you in a simpler terms, then whenever we want to use any particular command which we are using frequently in a script, but it is a longer. For example, we are uh, using 20 characters command in a shell script, right? And instead of that 20 characters, we want to just use 2-3 characters so that uh, we want to run the same command with 2-3 characters. So in that case, what we can do, we can utilize the alias thing alias keyword or you can say alias command because with the help of that command you can easily execute the same command with just a alternative name okay so i'm assuming that some of you may be aware of sql and you might have used the alias keyword in sql also because uh, in sql we use sql uh, like in in sql we use field name with alias name right we let's say if there is a field with name student name okay so instead of student name we can simply give an alias name as s-t-u-n-n-a-m-e s-t-u name so that will like it that time also like it was work it worked the same manner uh, as the student name work so similarly here also like we can use the uh, alias in order to create the alternative name for an actual command so to explain this in a proper manner in a uh, easier manner what I will do I'll show you the example that I have created and then we will walk through the script see the output try some customization and at last we will see how we can run the same thing through CL program so for that I'm just writing one command here work lnk enter which will open this work with object link screen here we have one directory with the name texture mate taking option 5 on it then we have one file shermit.sh this file is already executable file so if you don't know how to make shell script file executable then you can check out the previous session there we have already discussed this thing okay now taking option 2 here and you can see uh, here we have just noted down the multi-line command okay so this is the multi-line command which is nothing but for the in, uh, but for the introduction purpose where we just mention the presenter name and the session name all right so now we will start the actual thing which is the commands so for example you want to list down all the files and directories including the hidden files using shell script so in that case we can use one simple command which is ls space hyphen la so this is the command when you execute this command it will run and it will list down all the files and directories present in a uh, present in the system including hidden files or a means all files okay so let's try what we will do we will simply run this part only no other changes just simple one command and now I'm pressing F3 for save and exit we'll go to session B and okay we are on session B I think yeah okay so from here we will do QSH or you can do it from PDM screen or, or yeah from main screen also okay you can take QSH then we will uh, put the path which is slash home slash shermit slash tech shermit slash shermit dot sh and enter so after putting enter you can see it printed all the files and directories including hidden files but this time what we did we use the actual command which is ls hyphen la now what we will do we will execute the same thing but not with this because this maybe there is no space for example you are appending this thing with some text and there is no extra spaces to use this command so in that case what we can do we can use the alias all right so let's write the alias for it so what we will do here simply write a l i a alias a s okay then enter sorry then space and then we can select any alternative name for the command for example I just want to use it with the letter L then equal then without any space quote and here we will write the actual command which is ls hyphen la so this is the only place where we need to write the complete command after that there is no need to rewrite this again 
instead of that you can simply use ls hyphen la uh, uh, instead of ls hyphen la you can simply use l and it will work you it will provide you the desired output okay now what i'll do i'll print one text for the explanation purpose uh, below output comes from alias command okay so we just uh, put this thing so my question is will it show the list of files and directories now no it will not let's check press f3 for save and exit go to session b this time i'll run the same okay let me clear this first qsh enter we will run the same script again slash home slash shermit slash tech shermit slash shermit dot sh and enter and you can see it just printed one text only below output comes from alias command but it didn't uh, it didn't printed the list of files and directories why because we have not hit that command yet we just declared the alias but we have not issued the command so in order to issue the command you just need to write here l and this l will work as a ls hyphen la command so now this time if we run this again it will give you the output let's try same script slash home shermit text shermit shermit dot sh enter and you can see this time it printed the entire list of the files and directories including all hidden files so this is the first line which we which we have uh, pasted through the we, which we have printed through echo command and this is the output which we have got through the l command which is, you can say which is uh, the alias name for the ls hyphen la clear so this is how we can use ls hyphen la command in order to create the alias name for any command okay now we will see another example for the same alias because it is not always uh, mandatory to use ls commands only with the alias you can use any command for example i want to print the list of files in direct uh, okay no not the list and file directory we want to print the present working directory so instead of writing although it is a small command pwd but instead of that i just want to hit p so what i can do i can write here like this alias p equal then pwd okay now when we want to run this command we can simply use p and after doing this save f3 e exit go to session b run the same script again and this time you can see it is printing the these two line bill output comes from alias command and the present working directory is slash home shermit now here i am going to tell you one very good thing we know that we have we are supposed to put all the commands in the same letter right if i talk about the actual command we need to write it in a small pwd only but sometime uh, maybe we are habitual or maybe uh, it is the requirement of the script that we can write in any uh, way so in that case what we can do we can alias give the alias like this so this time if you write pwd in capital with a capital p it should work why because this time we have instructed the script that create a alias for small pwd as capital pwd so this time it will work you and it will not give any error let's verify so you can see this time it was it is providing the same output that means it is working properly but remember one thing don't try to change it here because in this case it will give you error because pwd is not a command right so this time okay it is working let me check what is wrong here pwd let's make it capital pwd uh, let me double check this thing because it should not work here because we are we have changed the actual definition of the script but not sure maybe something is wrong yeah it is working so maybe we need to check it whether it it is supposed to change it here or not because usually when we uh, use this command directly okay let me try one more thing here here we will directly use the pwd and we can try it with this it is working fine now we will make it as as capital pwd p 
pwd save and exit and this time if i try to run this okay it is working no problem then yeah we can use it if it is working accordingly then no problem in it but if you want to create any alias name for it then in that case you can simply use alias keyword and it will give you the output clear fine but i always recommend one thing that whenever you are writing a command please use in a small letters only because you know that if else if all these things are in a small letters so make a good habit and always use commands in a small letters otherwise it might uh, give you error sometime for the some specific commands so th that's all for this uh, now i'll quickly show you how we can run the same thing through cl work mbr pdm this is the program run qsh take option 2 here what we will do we will take tcl take f4 variable name type storage length then csg var take f4 name script of the file and then str qsh and the variable name so after running this script you will see that it provides you the same output as we were getting from the script because in short we are going to we are just calling the script from the cl itself so it is providing us the same output okay so yeah that's how we can uh, and why it is not printing the uh, list because i think we have removed the command from there yeah we have removed that's why it is not printing anything but we can make it again all right so this time i have just added the command again and if you call it now after compiling or maybe direct call we can see yeah so you can see it is printing the slash home slash home. okay so that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech